Anthony Bourdain, 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 that sounded so weird when I said it, and I've said his name before. Anyway, uh, that guy, who of course hosts a CNN show where he travels around the world and learns different cultures and eats their food, he did an interview with Jorge Ramos on Fusion, and listen to the question that he was asked. This is interesting. Can you save CNN? <laughs> I, I, I have absolutely, you know, it's, I never think about what my role is at the network, uh, what my ratings are, what the audience might want, what's expected of me. I do what I've always done, which is I try to make the best, weirdest, uh, most fun television, uh, the most honest television I can, uh, that I, the, 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 the best show I can make that I'll feel good about tomorrow. I try really hard that however much people may have liked last week's episode, that next week's episode, episode will be different and even if it, even disturbing and even unlikable. Uh, I, I, I think the, if you start thinking about you know, your, your ratings or what people want or expect, that's the road to madness. People who think about that too much start talking about themselves in the third person and, and uh, you know, uh, demanding novelty coffees. Uh, no. You know why he's being asked that question? Because whenever CNN needs filler shows, like during a holiday when nobody's working, what they do is they play reruns of Anthony Bourdain's new show. And the show does better than anything else does. It's a fucking travel-slash-food show that beats everything else. And the reason why I find this so interesting is that you can see how the mindset of Bourdain is superior compared to all of the other shitty CNN hosts. You know, just what he said, even at the end there, that little soundbite where he goes, look, man, I don't really care about the ratings. I don't really care what people think. I'm just trying to do a show that's honest and real to me and that's interesting and can get strange and... Uh, that whole mindset right there it, is the reason why his show is so much better than anything Don Lemon has ever done. It's so much better than anything Aaron Burnett has ever done. So much better than, uh, you know, I'm shitting on everybody here. Anderson Cooper does terrible in the ratings. Like, I know how everybody's, oh, Anderson Cooper, the gray-haired fox or whatever. I don't know. I've heard some people refer to him as that. Watch, it's like just my mom who refers to him as that. But, like, people look at Anderson Cooper, oh, the, the face of respectable news. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. He got, like, 17 viewers last night, you know. CNN is getting destroyed in the ratings, and I can tell you why. Because everything is fake. Everything is fake. They all have the fake news person cadence and the news person posture, and I have to cover the stories that people expect me to cover, and I have to be uh, vanilla, I have to play it down the middle. The neutrality journalism is killing CNN. The idea that everything is 50-50 in the world, that you always have to present two sides of an argument, that the Democrats and the Republicans are always equally right and equally wrong, and, you know, that's how you portray everything. People know that's vacuous and vapid and there's no substance there and you're not keeping it real. The idea that you have on a scientist who's who knows climate change is real, and he debates a politician that knows nothing about science, but takes the position that climate change isn't happening, and you have them argue it. You're giving a false narrative that is 50-50. People look at that and they go, this is all bullshit. Everything you're showing me is fake. Why would I watch this? Why would I care about this weird world, this contrived setup that you have here? There's nothing, there's nothing uh, that actually is fulfilling to me there. So why would people watch? And they don't watch, that's the point. And then they had this oasis in the desert. And by the way, Anthony Bourdain's show, it's okay. I watch it every now and then. I'm not obsessed with it. I'm not, I don't watch every episode, right? But when it's on every once in a while, I watch it. And you realize the reason why it does so much better is he's the only person on there that's somewhat real. The only person there is like, yeah, you know, we fucking got hammered and uh, we went on a fishing boat and yada yada. Whatever. Just somewhat real. So people go, oh, okay, I like this more. But CNN, they can't get, they can't break free of that mold. They don't get it. They're, uh, uh, uh yeah, but that's, uh, separate. The reason, Bla the Blackfish documentary, a fantastic documentary. Factual, smart, about an interesting topic. They did, like, one of those documentaries, and they haven't done a good one since. You know, why? Because on only, once in a blue moon, they break free from these chains of the false neutrality, the vanilla moderateness, you know, and they do something real. Well, why can't you just set up a news station 
entirely based on that idea. Why don't you hire people who have a fucking opinion? You know, say what you want about Fox News. Granted, all their viewers are old and and they only know how to work the TV. They're not on internet as much, so they their ratings are so much better. But it, the people like Bill O'Reilly, for example, the dude believes what he's saying, you know, and he's got a fucking opinion and he's loud about it. I disagree with him on everything, but he's number one in cable news. Why? Because he actually has a voice. He's not doing the fake moderate, uh, let me try to please everybody. He's like, oh, these kids are destroying the country and man. And there's a market for that in old curmudgeon fucks, you know. Why can't you, as CNN, take that model, take the model of realness that Anthony Bourdain gives you some degree of, that all of new media gives you of, why can't you take that and apply it and say, fuck all the partisan garbage and playing the 50-50, we're going to tell you the truth, we're going to, I always said this and I'll keep saying it, what CNN needs to do, fire everybody, bring in the crew from Vice, and say, you guys take over everything. Take over everything, you have carte blanche, do whatever you want, we're out of here, we'll come back in a year, and if the ratings are doubled, you can continue to do it. And I guarantee you it would work. I guarantee you it would work, but they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that because they don't want to get their advertisers mad, you know. They don't want to have an opinion and scare people. They don't want to get the politicians mad in Washington by being, maybe, you know, keeping it too real and saying, these Republicans are all bought and these Democrats are 80% bought. They don't want to do that, man. They don't want to do that. So continue to please the advertisers, continue to please the establishment, get horrible fucking ratings, and wonder, oh, why can't we do any better? Why, why has it gotten to the point that a fucking travel-slash-food show host is asked on another station, can you be the one to save CNN? How embarrassing is that? A guy who doesn't even take himself seriously, who doesn't even view himself as some sort of high-minded political news journalist, he's like, me save CNN? I don't know, what are you talking about? Are they that fucking shitty? Yes, Anthony, they are.